Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Chaser Assignment 7.1.3.4, Propagating a Default Route in EIGRP for IP version 4 and IP version 6. This Packet Chaser Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Scaling Networks version 6 curriculum. Now in this network, you notice over to the left where our topology is, we have two sides basically. We have this edge router um, that is the here I'm going to just draw kind of like a box around this this network we have here. Okay, and then we've got our blue, and each one technically are separate networks, but let's just call these like campuses. Okay, so we've got a network here that Branch 3 shares with uh, B, switch B3 and PC3. Uh, We've got the network yes, that branch 4 shares with switch B4 and PC4. You've got the networks between each router. Okay, Remember how a router operates. When you plug anything into a router, it creates a whole different subnet or network. Okay, So when we think about it in terms of like maybe campuses, the IP version 6 router and the IP version 4 edge routers kind of act like the last barrier before you get to the outside world. So if you were like maybe on a college campus, they have an edge router that all traffic passes through. Usually you spend pretty good amount of money on, on that router, making sure it is fast as possible because it's handling all traffic in and out. Um, so, you know, that router is responsible for everything. Now, if it gets something destined for a, a path, a destination that it does not know about in its routing table, what do we know routers will do? Routers drop packets that they don't have a destination for in their IP table. So when you do a show IP route, that table that comes up, if it doesn't know about it, it drops it. Now, let's think back also to how does a router figure out where it knows how to get to? Well. Just delete these two there. IP version 6 edge router knows about inherently everything is directly connected to it. So that means the network it shares with branch 3, the network it shares with branch 4, literally meaning just between the serial connections, and whatever network it, it has going to the outside internet. It does not even know about the branch 3 network, and it does not know about the branch 4 network, the LAN, the local area network. Now, we can do here is a show IPv6 route. And you'll notice that the C networks, or ones denoted with the C, are the ones that are directly connected. Okay, The Ls are local. That's like a local host on that network that is the, the C. Uh, but then we notice that we have some uh, D uh, letters in our legend here. That, if you look up here, means it learned it through EIGRP. These are the LANs that are connected to branch three and branch four that are involved B3, PC3, B4, and PC4. So these two networks here were learned about through EIGRP. That means, and if you look at a show run as well, that means that IP version six edge router branch three and branch four are running some type of uh, routing protocol being EIGRP to know about those networks, okay? Same thing over here if we do a show IP route for IP version 4, we'll notice the same thing, okay? So IP version 4 edge router knows about the network it shares with branch 1, it knows about the network it shares with branch 2, but it does not know about this one up here to the upper left or this one here. But it does know about it because it's running EIGRP and sharing those routes with branch 1 and branch 2. Now, these outside hosts here, let's say we're trying to connect to them or even over here onto the other side of the network. If PC1 tries to ping PC3, it has to go through this internet part. IP4 Edge is not going to know where to send something destined for 64.100.1.10. That is not in this table here. So how do we kind of let IP4 Edge send it out to the... To the um, uh, outside world or the next router and hopefully they know. Now this is not a 
surefire guaranteed way. But the goal is here that we get it out of IP version 4 Edge instead of dropping it to hopefully the next router will know about it. It's, it's a hope, and that's why we call this a gateway of last resort. If you remember back a couple classes ago, we learned one called a default static route. So for IP version 4, what we're going to do in our directions over here, it says uh, configure a default static route. And that is IP route 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0.0. That will configure a IP version 4 default route, meaning if there is anything I get in that's destined to a network that I don't know about, it could be any of them, I'm going to do one of two things. I'm going to send it to the next host, and I could put that IP address here. If you do a question mark, what it's looking for is the forwarding router's IP address. That's called the recursive method or next hop IP method, as I like to, to say it. Or you do the exit interface, which is the actual interface that you want to send it out of. Majority of the time you're using the exit interface because a lot of times you don't know what that next router's IP address. This just says internet. I have no idea what the next IP address is. So I do know though that every time I want to try to send it out of serial 010 here, that IP version 4 is connected to the internet on. So here I'm going to do the directly attached method or directly connected method because that's what our directions stay here in step two as well. So I'm going to do serial zero, whoops, one, <coughs> zero. Okay, and it tells you it may impact performance, but again, this is something purposeful that we did here. All right, so now that we have that in there, IP version 4 Edge knows about it, but how do we get branch 1 and branch 2 to say, hey, anything you don't know about or anything that you have a packet for that's destined to a network you don't have any recollection of in your IP table or your show IP route, um, how do I, well, I need to send it to IP version 4. To do that, I need to go to the EIGRP that's running and make sure the EIGRP knows to say, hey, send out that default static route with it too. Otherwise, it won't do that. So I have to go, and the, the correct thing would be to do a show run here, because the directions don't tell you what uh, autonomous system number to use here, which is one. So we need to do router EIGRP one once we find that out, and then do the command redistribute static. Okay, that command tells EIGRP, hey, you need to send this with our routes. Now, if we do a show IP route again, you see here at the bottom, we've got our static route. and It's denoted with an S with an asterisk. Okay, it's a default static route. Now, if we go to branch one, and it'll be the same thing on the other one as well, and do a show run. We haven't entered in any static routes here, right? But if we do a show IP route, We'll notice here at the bottom, it says DEX, okay? If we look up here in our chart, our table here, D means it learned about that static route through EIGRP, all right? So that is, you know, telling us where it learned about it from, okay? It's a candidate for a default route. And then if you look up here for EX, it's a EIGRP external, meaning it is not entered on this actual uh, device. So it's me sending it out somewhere else. I gathered that information from somewhere else. Okay. So again, you'll see it working there. And what will happen is, again, if something, if PC1 doesn't know how to contact somewhere, it will send it outside of that network uh, to IP version 4 Edge. IP version 4 Edge doesn't know about it. It's going to send it out to the network and into the internet, and hopefully it'll get it to the right location. So if we were to try to ping from, let's say, PC1 to the host down there, you see it see successful okay after a couple times because again it does not have that uh, IP version for a host at all in either one of these tables you can check them all I promise you it doesn't have it okay so that's how we do that for it's kind of configuring a gateway of last resort for IP version 4 now let's do the same exact thing for but for IP version 6 we know that those commands are a little bit different again EIGRP is running here so what we're going to do is we're going to configure the default static route here and to do that we do IPv6 route and if you remember back to your IP version 6 condensing addresses chapter all the way back in the Cisco RNS introduction to networks class in chapter 7 all right it is basically just a colon colon because you can condense back to back sections of all zeros so every section of all zeros is just colon colon forward slash zero for the subnet mask and then we're going to use the same method 
of sending it out of the interface. So we want to send it from IP version 6 edge out to the internet. We're going to send it out of this internet or, or interface right here, which is serial 010 again. It just happens to be the same name, but you want to always check that. That's not like a constant all the time. Um, and now to get it to include it again in the EIGRP updates, we need to go into e IP version 6 router EIGRP1. And of course, you want to check to make sure it was one because this has already been configured. Keep that the same. And we do redistribute static. OK, so let's do a show IPv6 route one more time. Oh, sorry. If we do it from here, we got to type do in front of it. And we see here we've got our static route. OK, now let's go to branch three or branch four and double check. And we see it right here at the top. OK, same thing. You notice it was uh, it's gathering it from an external route. OK. We also have 100 out of 100 at this point and you should be able to ping from PC3 to the IP version 6 host and you see it's successful. OK, so basically IP version 6 edge is allowing the Internet to handle all of its uh, hosts that it doesn't know about. OK, so again, both of those just show you, you know, the way to do it for IP version 4 and IP version 6. But the, the methodology behind it is the same, even though the commands are slightly different. So hopefully that helps explain why you would do it as well as how to configure it for this lab.